Good morning, it's Park Run Day and actually this is not the great bit to be filming because I'm walking through a lot of wet, boggy mud. <laughs> but um, I'm on my way to Woodhousemore Park Run, the oldest park run in Leeds and my home park run. And I am here today to say great big thank you to race directors that put races on on a Saturday but still leave time for you to get to a park run first. So. Today at 11, I have got the Calvary Cutter, a great owl race. So that's over in Kirkstall. And that starts at 11 a.m. 16K trail. So I'm wandering over to Woodhouse Moor Park Run. I'm gonna run that, dash home, get ready, and head over to do a trail race. I am very tired today, struggling a bit. At um, gone midnight last night, I was still hiking around one of the reservoirs in North Yorkshire. It was an absolutely beautiful evening. The stars were amazing. Um, but sleep is also amazing. And I definitely haven't had enough of that. I feel like I've got a little bit of a cold. So maybe I'll take both things easy today. But local races are just amazing for getting you out there, catching up with the running community. And uh, yeah, a little bit of motivation to run. So really looking forward to it. Any tourists? Yeah, are you from anywhere interesting? Good. Have fun, guys! Oh, we're backing up over the line. <laughs> oh no! Eek. Thank you, guys. So it's a busy one. Zigzagging all the way over there. Thank you so much. Well done, guys. Thank you. Well thanks. That was a lovely run. Ran with friends. Had great chat all the way round. Finished in position 444. Yeah, it was backed up over the finish line. So, I think we do need a double funnel here at Woodhouse Moor. It's probably only backed up for that really central bit. Um, I think we ran like 29 minutes or something. So yeah, but busy. January. It's always busy in January. Right. So, need to return my token, just scanned, and head to the race. I've arrived, I've just parked up. I'm in the Morrisons car park, and apparently they've changed the restrictions. I haven't seen any signs for two hours, so fingers crossed I don't return to a van with a ticket. They'd have to put up signs, wouldn't they, surely? And I've parked here for marathons on the canal, so I'm really hoping that it's fine. <laughs> Let's go register. I'm just approaching the bridge in now. I don't know how people do this. Things like backyard ultras and stuff with the stops. I'm so cold, hugging a hot water bottle as I walk there. Not feeling it. I think after a few miles of warming up, I'll be good. But right now, feels tough. There's quite a long queue for registration, but we're in a pub, so there's worse places to be. It's pretty warm. I've taken all my layers off, so yeah, just need to get my race number. Then we're ready. Nicola forward. Please. I've got my race number, number 84. I've got a number belt on, a race belt, so I'm going to get my number attached to that and then we'll head outside into the cold. I want my hot water bottle back. The pub's a lot quieter now. There's still a few people queuing for registration, but the walk to the start has begun. Began? Has begun. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think it's time to head down there. So this is Adam, great owl. Hi. What's the race going to be like today? It's going to be nice. Probably awesome. It's going to be yeah, really nice. Obviously. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> I the mean, weather's good, isn't it? The weather's amazing. Yeah. What is this? There were some guys just chatting and saying, you're brave in a t-shirt, mate. It's like eight degrees and it's a yeah. lovely day. <laughs> it's about seven or something, isn't it? How muddy is it going to be? Uh, I was marking the course last night. It's fairly muddy. There's some bits where there doesn't seem to be any more riverside path. It seems to have eroded away. <laughs> so, um, so we're in the river there? We're going to add, we're going to, add to that swim. today. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a lovely trip up the Carvely Cutting. You're going to see some wonderful colours. You can see an owl. Uh, an, an, owl? Owl an owl cave painting, if you if you look out carefully. Oh, I know. Now there's pressure on to spot it. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and we're going to see um, 
There you can see some, some of the nice river riverside trails. Yay! That Leeds has to offer. Can't wait! Yeah. And um, check out Adam's YouTube, Great Al on YouTube as well. Great Al running on YouTube. Um, I do lots of races, very similar to what Nicola does. Yeah. Um, we both just love it. Yeah, I'm, love a bit, it. I'm a bit grumpier, but oh. what's that to say compared to Nicola? Oh. <laughs> but we're in a tunnel. Ooh. Um, so we're nearly at the start now. But yeah, we are. I should probably. There's a few people yeah. still registering though, Adam. It's fine. I'm waiting for them. We're chilled. I'm waiting for Th them. These are trail races in Yorkshire, just we're here for the community and the feel good trail running vibes, aren't we, Adam? We are. But yeah, you should get to the start. They're getting quite cold over here, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get them. Let's come into the start here. <laughs> this race is in our club championships, so there's lots of high park carriers there. Oh, there we go. Adam's starting the race brief, so let's go and have a listen. Welcome to the fifth Kirkstall Carvely Cutter and the first Kirkstall Bridge 10K. <laughs> Yay! The race finished, just in case you didn't clock it, is back at the club. And there are a few markers just before this tunnel here. If you go too far, you're just going to have to turn around and go back. <laughs> so the following, the following briefing is for the Coach of Carbley Cutter only. We have about two kilometres of canal, followed by a small section of a small housing estate in Horsford, which is fully marked, and there's arrows, but you do need to look out for those arrows. You'll then go on to the Riverside, uh, the Riverside Trail eventually, and you're following the Riverside Trail all the way to Appley Bridge, where you'll turn around, be diverted up the Carvely Cutting. This is all signposted. You'll be up the top, up to Rodley, uh, not Rodley, sorry, up to Carvely. You'll be running through Carvely on the pay, uh, paved footpath. It's all, there's no road crossings in Carvely. You'll eventually turn left into a field, completing the loop section. You will then be retracing your steps all the way back to the pub. <coughs> I think I've covered everything. I think we're ready to go. Go! Off we go. Oh, little kid on shoulders showing on your marks, get set, go! <laughs> and we're up. Oh, there's a split already. Either hugging the canal path or back through the tunnel. I've gone tunnel. A few bikes bravely trying to make their way through, but it's not easy. We're trying to keep left as much as we can. The first of the hills, apparently there's a really big hill later. Not really looking forward to that. <laughs> I feel like I've got absolutely nothing today. Did a massive gym workout yesterday. My glutes are on fire. I just can't get out of the hills. So yeah, I might struggle. Bit of canal running up a big hill. Do a loop back along the canal. It's just great to have the motivation to get the miles in. I'm just walking the hill up by the lock. I'm just going to film the lock, but there's a man having a cheeky wee off to the side. Nobody needs to see that on YouTube. <laughs> this is the point at which we split. So I think the 10k runners are going straight. Thank you so much. We are putting the arrows down here. I love that Adam has used these little bits of pink tape to mark the course because they are much less likely to get removed than arrows or anything more conspicuous. He has put these arrows up like this one on this lamppost here. But uh, yeah, follow the pink tape. We're running in sunshine, but the sky does look rather ominous over the back there. Just working our way up a hill and a housing estate. Everyone's walking apart from this runner in front of me. I am walking, I quite want him to <laughs> as well. That would make me feel a bit better about walking the hill. But um, yeah, quads, hamstrings, glutes, like <laughs> on fire and refusing to work. <laughs> They're like, what do you think you're doing? We're doing a race, guys, <laughs> let's go. This bit is glorious, running under the trees in the sunshine and the views to the left sort of start opening up and you just really feel like you're leaving the city behind. Super technical downhill there, very muddy, very slippy. Down onto the river path, a really lovely route. This trail was actually um, part of my 100 miler, I've only done one. So fond memories of awesome running. 
through lots of mud running under the road and I've got to keep an eye out for this owl haven't I you can't see one so far I should have asked Adam should have asked for some intel where am I looking for the owl <laughs> I'm totally gonna miss it 5k in and I've run this in almost exactly the same time as I ran park running so I'm probably not really trying hard enough I just don't know that I've got it in me today and I keep by myself daydreaming I'm just sort of enjoying being outside moving yeah not really not really feeling very competitive today but um I think I knew that I've got the cross-country race tomorrow so I think today is just about enjoying it under more bridges and then this tunnel it's sometimes pretty dark actually it's not too bad I think I'm, I'm thinking of running through here on the 100 mile pitch black but I had a head torch then so that was fine the river is pretty full pretty fast flowing you know when you're running and your tummy starts going like glug 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 like you're shaking a bottle of water why does it do that I haven't drunk a ridiculous amount and I've eaten um, it's just the water sloshing around in my stomach I keep thinking oh I'm gonna have a drink I'm thirsty but it's really putting me off why is my tummy glugging if you know please let me know in the comments <laughs> oh I just did it again <laughs> really off-putting in terms of nutrition for this race I just like quickly grabbed an out-of-date Bella Forte bar so that's all I've got <laughs> I don't know if I'll need it I probably will feeling tired We'd, we've just been past a lot of river sort of repairs flood defenses that's what I mean but I do like that they're planting lots and lots of thirsty little trees because surely thirsty little trees are the best flood defenses that there are I love trails like this little ginnels wiggling winding relatively narrow it's just fun we've lost the sun and we're fighting a block headwind now but it's still beautiful so i'm still smiling we're four and a half miles in so i'm sort of thinking where is this hill because if it's not soon then i might struggle <laughs> Let's hope it's soon. Well, I think this is the start of the hill. Oh, look at that, some cheeky race tape on the <laughs> building fencing. But here we go. I think we're going all, all the way up to the top there. But I'm quite pleased actually, because when it gets steep, I'm going to eat. And I'm so hungry. Well, I'm sort of wishing that this arrow pointed a different direction. Nothing about me wants to go up this hill. <laughs> it's just runners walking all the way up I bet it looks flat on camera it is awful Adam what is this? I am enjoying eating though it's just a bit too steep to eat on it does start to get really beautiful here at the top with all of these incredible rocks oh. But I'm still sort of wishing the route went a different way. <laughs> Nearly at the top. Come on, Nicola. The runner in front of me has just started running again. It must flatten out in just a moment. He's got loads of support. No of cheering. Whew. Right, okay. My calves are starting to feel alive again and uh, my lower back is pleased that I'm standing a bit more upright Ooh, that was a hard hill happiness out onto the road slight downhill gradient my legs are so thankful oh it feels amazing Just following this pink tape the runners in front of me went wrong a couple of times um, I knew the trail back there so they're behind me now um, but it's not very nice not having anyone to follow. I need to pay attention now. <laughs> Leaving Calverley now. This race is so well marked. It's following these little bits of pink tape. 
and about, well, just over a park run to go. So getting there and I'm feeling so much better for eating some food. This little section of the race is alongside a road, but the views that open out to your left are just gorgeous. So, uh, and actually, it's a bit nice to uh, have some easy running. Oh, downhill on tarmac. Yes, please. <laughs> As a trail runner, I don't say that very often to tarmac. That's uh, it's exactly what I need right now. Taping an arrow, leaving the road. Oh, can I do the gate one-handed? Yes, I can. And heading down through a field, back towards the canal. <laughs> Just a park run to go now. Through the gate, over the bridge. Thank you. Thank you. Just a park run to go. Yay! <laughs> thank you! I intend to. Oh, thank you, Dave! <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Ooh. Don't think I've ever been down this little bit. Ooh. Awesome, thank you. Thanks. A little bit slippy, a little bit technical right across the bridge and to the right. Thank you guys. And as we go back down here, we rejoin the path that we ran out. So this is the out and back section. Feels like we're running home now. Running back underneath the trees that I loved on the way out. Just two miles to go now. Back over the river heading back for the canal then we'll turn left and head to the pub not far to go now Bramley Fall Woods on our right about to come down another lock and then we're pretty much back less than a mile to go and I'm feeling pretty strong actually really comfortable it sometimes takes me a fair while to sort of warm up and get into it yeah feeling good now let's get to the finish Leaving the canal now. Finish is almost in sight. Up around the corner. No, don't walk past in front of me. We're nearly there. Let's go. Running over the bridge. Finish is literally down there. Need to wriggle, wiggle around the pub. Into the finish. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Where was the owl? I missed it. Well, I realise that now I'm back at the finish. You're going to have to go back and get it again. Oh, aren't you? Where was it? I should have got Intel. the cutting. No way. I've got the cutting. On Carved what? Out the rock. Oh, car. Yeah. I thought you meant spray painted. Okay, I'll go and no, do it again. No, no, I, I, if there's anyone ever spray paints Carly cutting, I go and wash it. <laughs> oh. There's lots, what's lots that, of what's that cheering for? Oh. There's a lot of cheering. Oh, they can see runners on the bridge. Yeah, you can see people on the bridge coming in. Oh, they're oh, cheering their friends who are up here on the bridge. So I've got another 10 miles to go and do. Let's go and see the owl. <laughs> I've changed up my sweaty clothes. I've got a hot water bottle down my top that was wrapped in a down jacket. It has retained some warmth, so I'm pretty pleased about that. And I brought carrot cake for the finish. And can you see, there they are. High Park Carriers, a row of High Park Carriers behind me. So we are all sort of chatting about how much we're dreading our cross-country race tomorrow after this. But <laughs> well, that was a really great race today. I really loved it. So I'm going to go eat carrot cake and hang out with the High Park Carriers while we well then cheer the runners in. The tails are in. The sun's still shining. Still lots of chat and enjoyment. So I think it is time for me to head home have a bath <laughs> and then go get poppy it has been an absolutely awesome day park run and a race hooray thanks to adam for hosting a race at 11. i didn't ask him actually if the 11 o'clock was specifically so people could park run beforehand i imagine it is and it is a great idea so hopefully more races will do that and then i can do races on a saturday because it is difficult having to miss things because of park run but 
can't miss park run. Anyway, it's been a perfect day weather-wise, an absolutely beautiful trail run. I saw my first snowdrops of the year, so that's been really exciting. And I wore the exact right clothes. You know those races where you just feel like, yeah, it couldn't have gone better. So huge thanks to Adam for hosting today's race. Great Al running, really, really loved it. I was saying to Adam actually, I haven't done one of his races for years and years and it's just, uh, we, we got a bit lost on the last one. <laughs> and the course was so well marked today. So that was really, really nice to see. The team here have been amazing. So yeah, huge thanks to you guys for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a like subscribe for more running adventures and I will see you on the next one. I'm trying to think what that is but I don't really know. It's been a busy week um, but yeah on to cross country tomorrow. Not filming that. I filmed the Pico season before. So yeah, get these uh, tired legs home to rest so <laughs> that I can attempt to race cross country tomorrow. Take care guys.